Hello everybody, welcome to Rain on iRacing. This has been a long time coming, people have been waiting for this forever. It's finally here, we're finally going to be able to test in the rain. Uh, this is a couple days late compared to what everyone else has been doing, uh, but I'm surprised that I've not seen many people do lap comparisons. Uh, this weather currently is uh, is moderately wet. Uh, this is the Wet and Wild series with the GTP and LMP2 cars. Uh, and my setup that I'm using, and I'm going to just show this just to um, use this as a control. Uh, we are going to be using the high downforce setup uh, compared to the um, the setups that iRacing have available, which is the wet setup uh, for baseline or fixed or any of this stuff. I wanted to use high downforce because this is Portimao uh, and we'll be uh, running with TC12 uh, because this has helped just a slight bit with, um, you know, just making sure that we can not spin out every single corner, uh, which it's ultimately up to, you know, myself not to be an idiot and in the throttle. That's going to spin the car out more than anything, but I'm just going to talk about some stuff about what I'm seeing and kind of how I'm tackling going about doing this. And then I'm also just going to show you the best lap that I can do. Uh, I'm not going to look for the absolute best lap. Uh, I'm just going to look for a decently good lap uh, that I'm uh, proud to show you. So leaving the pit lane here, you're going to notice all these puddles. These puddles are going to be your worst enemy. This paint on the outside of the racetrack is also going to be your enemy, because if I go down here, you got a slow car on the right. Car stops on the right. and I touch this curb, it's going to want to kill me if I get on the gas on it. If I go out here on my right, and we're just going to ease out to this outside here, kill this, if I gas it up, it's going to just spin on me. You don't want that. So, we will, uh... See my lap, and we're also gonna see... All the things that I'm gonna fail at while driving around. Alright, so starting my first lap, you can just hear the water going into my car. If you have your tire sounds turned up a lot, it's exactly what it's gonna sound like for you. I'm braking offline just so I can kind of keep my car on the racetrack. You can see there, even then, I... I'm gaining time, but I just was sliding in the rears a lot. The main thing I'm comparing this to is like dirt on iRacing. I'm trying to find that place where there's grip. I'm trying to put my at least a tire in the grip. I know that you're going to have your wet line and your kind of rubbered in line and stuff. I'm trying to at least, you know, when it's not a puddle, I think puddles take a... You just need to avoid those or hit it completely square on or you're going to hydroplane. You just need to focus I'm trying to make sure your car is able to grip up. So, like, right here, I'm missing this apex, and I'm going to stay on this right side here. To get off that asphalt. But you can see there, I hit some sort of moisture. Locked all my tires up. And this is moderately wet. This is more like normal rain that you're going to experience is not the extreme wet that you're going to see most people running on in these test videos. This is going to be more realistic to what you'll experience. I'd assume so on these uh, races that are going to have this kind of weather. I'd assume if you're in the uh, an unlucky uh, Sebring split, you might uh, get to experience this part as I'm uh, not driving where I want to be driving. See all that black lacquer tarmac there that I'm just going to try to stay off of. I'm going to even run offline off of this just so I can kind of get my left side tires out of the slick. Wasn't trying to drop it there on the left side, but you can see here it was a 59, 55, not a uh, 55.3 there on my first lap. But we'll be back here for an even better lap. As we spin. Will do. 
course. You'll have to slow down and give up the time gain. Man, even with the spin, we're faster. All right, so 150.9, that's gonna be our benchmark for this, uh, this dry test. As we immediately screw up the first corner. So we'll go test this in the dry and we'll see what we can do. All right, so we're back. This is a dry session. Uh, the weather is almost exactly the same. Uh, maybe the wind direction is off, but it was 29 miles an hour when I checked. It is overcast, it's 66 degrees. It was the same it was when it was in the dry, wet session. Uh, but this time it is dry. Uh, the setup we're using, we're going to be doing the dry tire. I actually decided to leave traction control gain just in the same setting. Just for fairness. To make sure that there's no speed difference. Uh, so we're going to be running with that. And we're just going to see what we're able to do here in the dry. Alright, so we're getting ready to start our first lap here. We run a little wide. I've never run this track in anything other than the wet. So we're uh, seeing here we're already 8 seconds up. Uh, just from coming out of the pit road, so we're just going to see how much grip we can have here in turn one. We don't have to run offline, so we can just do that. And this thing grips up. Coming through here, this corner is coming out every single time I come out of the pits. We're able here to go down and just Send it in the brake zone, even that's probably a little light. Coming through here, we can run our lines here so we can touch this curve on the inside. We can go down to the outside here. Maybe back that corner up a little bit, but... Look at that, already part way into the lap and we're already almost 10 seconds up. We can run straight through here. Touch this inside curve. All the way down to there. Don't even have to go this wide here. We can just cut right across here. Maybe overshoot that corner a little bit, but... Yeah, this thing has got so much more grip. I know it's a grade A observation, but still, I mean, just... Having that much grip and just power and everything. I think we could still beat the time finishing this lap here, even with that spin. coming off the corner. What's our lap time going to be? We can already see our optimal's down to a 35. This lap here, even with that spin, was 10 seconds faster. Alright, coming to finish our second lap here. We are another, that's a another chunk of change off of that lap there.
Alright, so after our dry session, we were able to get a 133.641 on the board. That compares to our wet session time of the 150.982 that we set in those uh, moderate conditions. Uh, that is a difference of 17.341 seconds, almost 18 seconds a lap. That is a ton of time uh, just between those two changeable conditions. Um, of course, you're going to get lighter weather that's going to play into effect and make those gaps smaller between the wet and the dry tires but ultimately from those moderate conditions to the dries that time difference is going to be massive these laps also are not the most indicative either i'm not setting world record laps in either the dry or the wet i don't know if i suck in the wet compared to the dry or if i suck more in the dry than i do in the wet these are good benchmarks for somebody who's a control by themselves just me i set a difference of 17.341 on uh, the dry to the wet tire yeah this is a uh... That is a crazy difference, uh, kind of just shows the grip level difference, especially with all the problems that people are having with running the GTP. Uh, GTP is turning out to be the most difficult car to drive in the rain by far, just with the horsepower and, and everything. LMP2 is kicking its butt um, in drivability, uh, but that's going to be the fun thing about these, these cars becoming, you know, rain ready and stuff. I'm actually myself looking forward to uh, maybe when the indie cars end up getting the, the wet weather tire and then doing an iRacing IndyCar series race or something where, uh, you know, the weather kind of comes into effect. But these are awesome times for iRacing. Cool to see rain come. Just kind of graphically also just the, the, I feel like they've done a really good job with the rain. I run on a very, very low end. I wouldn't say low end. I just run on a very old computer um, that's actually a laptop. My performance hasn't been hit at all with this. I usually run with low settings anyways. I can still run all the rain stuff. I can run behind people. I can I can do much stuff and stream at the same time. This is just an awesome, fun update. I hope you all enjoyed that. Hopefully we'll be seeing some racing stuff uh, in the rain for myself in the future. Um, this is going to be just a ton, a ton of fun uh, to have to deal with these changeable conditions, especially when the uh, the forecast stuff gets you know locked down for these, uh, for these special events. So yeah, hope you all have a good rest of your week and peace.